So the topic of today's class is emphasis. And specifically, we have two objectives, okay? First, we're gonna to learn to recognize the difference between a content word and a structure word. And once we can do that, we need to make sure that we can identify what a focus word is in any given sentence. So, I have a question for you. What is a content word? Do you have any idea what a content word is? Content word for me is uh, when I can identify from the different sentences the main the main words. The main words. The main words. Yes. And if I, and if you had to say a part of speech, for example, a noun or a preposition or a pronoun or a verb, what is a which one of those is a content word? Content word has to be like uh, adverbs. Uh, verbs. Yeah. Uh, that, that's uh, that's important. right. Nouns, verbs, Verb. adverbs, mm -hmm. adjectives, WH words. That's right. Because they deliver the message. Mm -hmm. So if you look here at this sentence, they hardly notice the time when they work in teams. Can you tell me which words are content words? Uh, hardly for me. Uh, notice, time, when, and work. And also teams, okay, yes, good. teams. These words, would you say that they are the clarifying message? Yes. Right? It means it's giving like a message. About it gives you a message. The, yeah. Mm -hmm. So our content words are the key words. They're the key words. If you had to read those circled words as your message, you're stuck on a boat somewhere, Morse code, you only have a certain number of, of words that you can use, how would you say just those words? Can you try that for me? Yes. Hardly notice time when word teams. That's right. Good. So then the question becomes, what are these other words? It has to be like a structure word. These are structure words, okay? And the structure words, they act as the glue. They're not as important. They and the and in, they're just not as important. The structure words are the glue, the grammar. Mm -hmm. The content words are the message. They're the nouns and the verbs and the adverbs and the adjectives, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is very important that you can start to recognize the difference between them and then showing the contrast between them, all right? So, I want you to say for me, hardly notice time when work teams. Hardly notice time when work teams. That's right. You gave me a message. Yes. Now say for me, they, the, they, in. They, the, they, in. No message. There's no message. No, no message. No. Now put it together and give me the emphasis on these circled words. They hardly notice the time when they work in teams. You try. Okay. They hardly notice, notice the, the time, time when, when they, they work, work in, in teams. teams. So certain words are shorter, okay? Mm -hmm. So we have talked in the past about syllable stress. The same thing applies when we contrast content words and structure words, okay? okay. So try it again. Listen, though. Uh -huh. They hardly notice the time when they work in teams. You try. Okay. They hardly notice the time when they work in teams. Right. When they work when they work when they work in teams when they work in teams so this word is reduced when they work in teams you got it okay so now let's talk about one last final point okay we looked at content and structure words now we need to know where the focus word is when you introduce a subject a focus word is the last content word the last content word. So if you look at this sentence, where is the last content word? It has to be like teams. Yeah, that's right, because this is what? The last one, the it's, last uh, content word. It's a noun. It's a noun. It's uh -huh. a noun, so teams is our focus word. So, they hardly notice the time when they work in teams. Not when they work in groups, not when they work alone, when they work in teams. teams. And let me introduce a rule to you. Listen carefully. When you introduce a subject mm -hmm. to anybody, one person, five people, ten people, the rule says it is generally the last content word that gets focus. When you introduce a subject. So let's come over to the board. I want to show you more about what I'm talking sure. about. Okay? All right.
right, so now, we already did number one, so let's take a look at number two. I'm gonna give you the pen. Sure. I want you to circle all of the content words in number two for me. Company. Okay. This one. Facing. Difficult. That's right. And decision. Excellent. Good. So yeah. say for me, company facing difficult decision. Just say that. Company facing difficult decision. Perfect. I love your emphasis. So mm -hmm. now I should hear these other words, right? These other words, right. which are our structure words, mm -hmm. they should be de-emphasized. So keep that emphasis on those words. Go ahead. My company is facing a difficult decision. Good. I like it. That sounds good. Now, look at number three. Mm -hmm. Read that to me. What time is the meaning of curriculum development? Good. Again. What time is the meaning of curriculum development? Okay, so I see we need some help. Here's the pen. Sure. Circle the content words. Yes. What is the question word? Time. Meeting. Right. Curriculum. Right. And development. Good. Now, Johnny, one of the things you tend to do is speak very quickly. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that, yes, these content words get emphasized, but you don't want to swallow up these other words, okay? They still have a value. They still have a value. So say for me, what time meeting curriculum development? What time meeting curriculum development? That's right. And I even take a little pause there. Yeah. What time meeting curriculum development? What time meeting curriculum development? Good. Now add in the structure yeah. words. What time is the meeting on curricular development? Perfect. Okay? Love sure. it. Good. All right, let's look at number four. Go ahead and circle for me the content words. Many Good. Adjectives. Schools. Turning. Good. Online, mm -hmm. education, mm -hmm. greater, right, and flexibility. That's good. Mm -hmm. Lots of them. There's lots here. Now, because you have a sentence with so many content words, you need to make sure that you're also going to stress certain syllables. Okay, so mm -hmm. just, just, I just want to throw that out there that you have all these syllables. So just don't. Don't jumble them together. Go ahead and say for me, many schools turning online education greater flexibility. Many schools turning online education greater flexibility. 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 Good. Now add in these structure words here. Many schools are turning to online education for greater flexibility. 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 You got it. Flexibility. Flexibility. Good. Nice mm -hmm. job. All right. And then finally here, look at the last one. Mm -hmm. Can you first read it to us? Yes. Do you think she works hard enough? Again. Do you think she works hard enough? Okay, good. Now circle the content words. Yes. Think. Good. Think. One. Works. Right. Hard. Yes. Enough. Good. Now what I want to point out, which you already recognize, is that do is a helping verb here. So it's yeah, it's actually a verb. Mm -hmm. That's right. And mm -hmm. so it doesn't get emphasized. Yeah. So think works hard enough? Think works hard enough. And now go ahead and put in the structure words. Do you think she works hard enough? Right. Good. I like, I, now I hear that emphasis mm -hmm. and I'm hearing the difference between the content words and structure yes. words. Good. And nice I job. That. Good. Yeah. So now I want to change gears. All right. We, we have the foundation of emphasis, okay. which is emphasizing content words and de-emphasizing structure words. Mm -hmm. But what was the second thing we were going to learn today? Uh, we will focus, we'll focus, focus words. words. Uh -huh. So I want to go over that. We, we talked about the word teams being our focus word here. Teams. What is our focus word in number two? Decision. Why? Because it's the last um, uh, content word. What if I wrote a sentence like this? Um, The decision is hard for her. What is the focus word now? Hard. Excellent. Why? Good. Because Good it's the, the last uh, content word. It's the last content word. Yes. Good. You're getting it. That's it. Because for and her are structure words. Yes, structure so word. how would you say that? The decision is hard for her. That's right. Okay. Focus, you're bringing my attention, you're emphasizing the focus word, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, these can't also get stressed. Sure. Okay, so now read number two with the decision being emphasized. Mm -hmm. 
my company is facing a difficult decision. That's right, okay? So we make it longer, we make it louder, we make it higher in pitch. Where is the focus word in number three? Mm, development. Okay, now this is tricky, okay? What time is the meeting on curriculum development, okay? We emphasize curriculum development, both of those words well, because they're a partnership. Yeah, together. exactly, so say that sentence yeah. again. What time is the meeting on curriculum development? That's right, okay, good. Yeah. And number four, where is your focus word? My focus word has to be in flexibility. Okay, good. So it's that whole word you can circle. Mm -hmm. You got it. Okay, good. And how about yes. number five? Do you think she works hard enough? That's good. Mm -hmm. Good. So my um, focus word has to be enough. Right. And, and, and in this case, the intonation is going to rise altogether. But do you think she works hard enough? Do you think she works hard enough? Good. So look you're starting to understand what content words are, structure words, focus words. We said that a focus word is the last content word yes. when you introduce a subject. Mm -hmm. But after you introduce the subject, Johnny, it's really important that you understand any word can become the focus word. And generally, it's the new information. New information gets emphasized, old information gets de-emphasized. So, if I say to you, number two, my company is facing a difficult decision, and then let's say you have a question for me, oh yeah, what kind of decision? The word kind becomes more, be like important more important than decision, mm -hmm. right? Let's just try that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the statement, you ask me what kind of decision, I'll answer you, and let's just have three or four sentences back and forth, trying to emphasize the new information, the new information. Sure. Okay, so I'll start. My company is facing a difficult decision. Oh, really? What kind of decision? But see, don't emphasize decision, right? So now you're going to say, what kind of decision? Okay. Try it. What kind of decision? Do you hear what you're doing? Yeah. Do you hear it? Yeah. Good. I'm glad you hear it. That's the first step, okay, is to be able to identify what you're doing. So what kind of decision? Let me grab this here. Take this. When the ball goes up, so does your voice. When the ball comes down, your voice drops. What kind of decision? Okay. Try it. What kind of decision? Good. You see? Kind. You're not stressing decision. It's the new information. Okay? Yes. Good. Let's try one more. Let's try... Can you ask me this question? Do you think she worked hard enough? You know, she works hard, but not smart. I think she's very, very, I think she's very smart. That's right, that's right, because you put the new information. I think she's very smart, right? Good. I think she's very smart. Excellent, I think you're getting it. Thank you. Let's do a little review, right? Sure. So what we talked about today was emphasis, and yes, right? Emphasis. Mm -hmm. And specifically, what are the two things that we tried to identify? Content. Content and also structured words. Right. The difference between the content and structure okay. words, which mm -hmm. we did here on the board, and then identifying focus words. So there's two rules about focus words. Yes. Normally it's the, 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 the last content word. The last content word. And after the new information and that we the provide. New information. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay? Mm -hmm. Perfect. That's what you learned today. And if you can take that out into the real world, every time you communicate and highlight those content words and then the focus words, you're really going to grab your audience. Okay? Thank you very much. Go get them. Yeah, I will. Okay.